The Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, DARPA for short, was created in 1958, almost immediately after the launch of Sputnik 1 by the USSR. The realization that the Soviets were about to launch not only satellites, but also rockets into space, greatly spurred on the United States government. The result was the creation of a unique agency with a huge budget to spend as it saw fit. Watch a selection of DARPA's most unexpected, bizarre, and advanced technologies and artificial intelligence projects in one video. Hey, my name's Connor, and you're on the Pro Robots channel. Subscribe, hit like, and share with your friends. And Elon, if you're watching this, you still owe me 20 bucks for pizza, man. DARPA's mission is to create innovative defense technologies. The agency's projects have ranged from space-based missile shields to cyborg insects. In doing so, the internet, the first computer mouse, GPS, robot vacuum cleaners, and even Siri have been created. DARPA is unique in that by investing in a project, it doesn't seek to grab an equity stake, but only to stimulate the development of technology and see where it leads. The agency's first significant success was ARPANET, which laid the foundation for the modern internet. In 1969, with the help of this computer network, the first message between computers of the University of California and Stanford University was transmitted. But then, out of the five letters of the message, they were able to transmit only two. But on January 1st, 1983, the network became the first in the world to switch to routing data packets. As a router protocol was initially used, IP protocol was developed by order of DARPA, which today is the main means for data transmission on the internet. In 1964, Charles Rosen, head of the Artificial Intelligence Center at the Stanford Research Institute, proposed the creation of an intelligent automaton for the Office of Advanced Research. The grant was approved, and it was assumed that the developed robot could work as a sort of scout or postman. This is how shaky the robot came to be. According to the description, it could perceive its surroundings, deduce implicit facts from explicit ones, create plans, recover from errors and executing plans, and understand orders written in plain English text. The robot was equipped with video cameras, collision sensors, and a rangefinder. Communication with the control computer was via radio. Shaky software architecture computer vision and navigation and planning techniques proved fundamental to robotics and web server development, video game development, and Mars rovers. Autonomous robots, like unmanned vehicles, were one of DARPA's first and primary goals. To stimulate their development, the agency launched the Strategic Computing Initiative in the 1980s and allocated a billion dollars to it. The goal is to develop artificial intelligence technologies in a variety of fields. Among the results are the first autonomous cars and Boston Dynamics' first four-legged walking dog. Modern drones date back to a series of robocar races that DARPA sponsored in the 2000s to encourage the technology's development. And in 2004, of all the contenders for a prize of a million dollars, only one managed to pass a modest 12 kilometers of the planned 240. And then in 2005, the entire distance was covered by five cars at once. In 2007, DARPA held another race, now with a prize of $2 million. Robo Auto had to drive around the city following the rules and interacting with one another at intersections. It was DARPA that sponsored the development of Boston Dynamics' first four-legged robot, Big Dog, introduced in 2005. The robot measured 91 by 76 centimeters and weighed 110 kilograms and was capable of moving at six and a half kilometers per hour and carrying a load of 150 kilograms, even as well as climbing a mountain with an incline of up to 35 degrees. The project cost DARPA $42 million, but was shut down as the robot proved to be incredibly noisy. Nevertheless, Big Dog became the basis for the creation of both the Spot and Atlas robots. There were and there are among the agency's projects very unusual and even peculiar ideas. For example, the Energy Autonomous Tactical Robot, or EATER program, was aimed at creating robots that could eat plants to replenish their own energy reserves right where they would work or take the Engineering Living Materials, 
Elm program, which was aimed to create self-healing building materials. With the development of 3D printing of organs and tissues, DARPA hopes to use similar technologies to create hybrid materials that can form and support the growth of artificially created cells. Such materials could be grown locally using available resources. The Hybrid Insect Microelectro Mechanical System Spy Bug Project in 2006 also looked crazy. In 2009, engineers had even unveiled a prototype transmitter for cyborg insects. But judging by the fact that in 2018, the agency announced the start of the development of miniaturized robots controlling insects in the right volume never came to fruition. The new shrimp or short range independent microbiotic platforms program and the robots being developed under it will belong to the smallest type of such mechanisms, just the size of insects. At the same time, the robots will be fast, maneuverable, able to jump, fly, lift objects, and analyze the terrain. And these won't be DARPA's only bio-inspired robots. The agency recently announced that next year it will unveil a fully finished robotic worm that will be able to tunnel at 10 centimeters per second. It's already allocated $2.5 million for the project Undermire. Tunnels will be needed to quickly create tactical pathways when fighting in cities and megacities. One of DARPA's most important projects is the systems-based neurotechnology for emerging therapies, a program designed to create an implantable, diagnostic, and therapeutic closed-loop system for the treatment of neuropsychiatric diseases. Essentially, the program wants to create a brain implant to help soldiers combat PTSD and other problems. Interestingly, when work on neural interfaces began, DARPA said that it would create a chip that the military would use to control combat robots and drones with the power of thought. Either way, work on the brain chip continues. Another of the key areas of DARPA's project is the creation of robot pilots and artificial intelligence capable of controlling airplanes and helicopters, including combat aircraft. Thus, at the end of this year, the final test of alias technology on Sikorsky UH-60M Black Hawk helicopters should take place. The test program includes remote and autonomous missions. The alias system consists of a robotic pilot, voice interface, and software. Only LiDAR and cameras are required to install alias on any Black Hawk in the U.S. Army fleet. The trainable artificial intelligence system that will be able to take control of combat aircraft in the future and conduct maneuverable close air combat being developed by DARPA is called Air Combat Evolution. It was for its development that the recent Alpha Dogfights trials test of neural networks algorithms and virtual air combat were conducted. Recall that during trials, artificial intelligence managed to defeat professional pilots of the U.S. Air Force with a resounding score of five to nothing. The new neural network system will have to control the fighter and fight faster and more efficiently than a human. It will be tested on a real airplane in 2024. The preparation of the fighter for this event has already begun. Unmanned technology interests DARPA not only in the air, but also in the water. Just the other day, the agency announced that it is ready to sign contracts for long-range unmanned ships with three private companies as part of the Sea Train program. The project involves long-range deployment of a distributed fleet of unmanned tactical surface ships. The goal is to break the range limit for maritime drones by reducing wave drag. DARPA sees one solution to this problem in sea trains, which will be formed from ships right in the sea. Having overcome the necessary distance, marine drones will disconnect to fulfill their task, and then on the way back, they'll make a train again. Also, it's at the expense of drone technology development that the U.S. intends to bring the number of its fleet to 355 ships. This was recently stated by U.S. Secretary of Defense Mark Esper, and he also reported on the demonstration of a prototype of an underwater drone, Echo Voyager, from Boeing, and service vehicle, Sea Hunter, developed by DARPA. Apparently, they will be used to replenish the Navy's ranks. Another global goal of DARPA is the creation of swarm intelligence, that is, the use of groups of robots to perform complex tasks. As a part of this project, researchers from the University of Buffalo recently received more than $300,000 to study the brain impulses and eye movements of gamers. The goal is to improve the organization and strategy of autonomous aerial and ground robots through a new learning method. The robots will be trained by an algorithm that must process the information collected by scientists and understand how gamers act in some unexpected situation, what they pay attention to, and what these actions lead to. Robot swarms are being researched by DARPA in two other areas. The first is the Offset Project, 
the development of software that will allow various ground robots and unmanned aerial vehicles to work together. Robots grouped together must be able to cooperatively accomplish one or more tasks using one or more than 100 tactical options. The second area is the Squad X project. It involves the introduction of drones, robots, and sensors on the battlefield to maximize soldier situational awareness and other tasks. DARPA has already tested the program through a week-long exercise in which U.S. Marines use drones and robots to coordinate their movements and detect potential threats in the field. Information from the sensors was processed by an artificial intelligence system and only then relayed to the military. This is exactly how the combat scenarios of the future will look like. We cannot fail to mention that thanks to DARPA, the whole world was able to enjoy the spectacle of humanoid robots racing at the DARPA Robotics Challenge. The footage of epic fails of robots of various designs quickly became a hit on YouTube. And while it's indeed very funny, we can't forget that thanks to such events, robotics is evolving and today we can watch agile robots like Atlas. Subscribe to the channel, like, share this video with your friends, and don't miss new episodes. See you next time.